What's going on, beautiful people? So everybody's talking about this uh, Real Housewives of Potomac and the Jamal Bryant and Gisela Bryant. I don't watch the show. I do know two people who do watch the show. So I talked to them. They gave me their perspective. And I... Hey, what's going on with you? How you hey, doing? great. How are you? Well, yeah, I, I want to talk about this Bryant thing. I, I mean, I kind of found Bryant loosely. and uh, But the two, is Bryant working on the show as well? He makes a cameo appearance, like they'll have dinner and he's there, or she's taking to him, him to the airport and they have a brief conversation, but nothing ever more than a second. Most of it is phone conversation, and that's why she gets rid of kill and her friend says, oh, yeah, you're, you're, he lives in your phone. Like, he's not, is he going to come on the show? Oh, yeah, that's right. He lives in your phone, you know, because right. he's never really on the show filming around anybody. Do they stay in different cities? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's in Atlanta, she's in Potomac. Oh, so, so, so this one lady, she, she, and I, I don't know the names of these people. The one lady on the reunion show, she went off on Giselle saying that her husband's cheating on her. Well, that her, what? It gets confusing. It's not. Well, so here's the deal. She, Giselle likes to talk about everybody. So Giselle was saying Monique. Monique was. Um, the word the word on the street, that's what Giselle always says, the word on the street was that okay. Monique was cheating with her personal trainer. That her personal trainer is more than just trainer, client, relationship. And Monique and so, is married. And she's married to the football player, the big guy. Okay. And so, and then that's what Giselle refers them to. She says, so big boy found, she doesn't say the name, so big boy <laughs> found out. So she's kind of berating her, and I think they after they film, and you know they have time to watch the show because it airs, right? And then they do the reunion, you know, the reunion. Cause, so you've had time to look at everybody's, what do they call that when they're sitting in front of the camera and they right, say they right. look, yeah, you've had time one, one to, on one, one on one, yeah, yeah, the one on one interviews where you really say it was on your mind, you know what I mean? You're really letting out. So I think she's had time to look to see how Giselle has casted her and her family, whether true or not, who knows. And so once Giselle decided that um, it, that she wasn't going to film with Monique, because Monique got into a nasty fight with the other girl, Candace, and they felt like Monique just went too far. Like they haven't had on that show, they haven't had any fist fights. You know, okay, okay. That's, that's one thing about that show. It's been, you know, they haven't pulled nobody's hair and fought and stuff like that. But when it took a left turn like that, um, Giselle didn't want to film with Monique anymore. And then her green-eyed bandit friend, um, uh, what's her name? The other lady, you know, she didn't want to film anymore. So they, so they felt Monique was never remorseful. It's one thing that you did it, but then you're not remorseful about it at all. Like, well, she deserved it. Or she started. It's like, no, she didn't start it. <laughs> you okay, started. Okay. You know, so so for the reunion show, I think she came ready. You know, she came amped up with ammunition. Um, and that's why she had that binder because she just had all this kind of dirt, I guess, on people. <laughs> yeah. That nope. she was ready to <laughs> she had no she had, she had no that she was ready to fire away. And okay. so since Giselle took the liberty and was saying, hey, Monique, you're, you're cheating with a personal trainer, then that's when Monique came out and said, well, your so-called pastor boyfriend is slinging his dick D all over Atlanta and has a, and has a baby by another woman, the seventh woman, while you all were together. And mm. so that's how that's how that all unfolded on the show. And then Monique said, yeah, you want to call my husband big boy, you know, like, you know. Correct. You know, not even not even addressing him by his name, calling him big boy, and drag my family down. Take that, you know. And Jeanette, Jeanette's gonna say, <laughs> she was truly shocked because she had text messages from the lady that was saying the conversation back and forth, like, "Oh, you want to see me, so to speak? Oh, you want to see me? I thought you were back with your, you know, ex-wife." And he's like, "Oh no, that's only for ratings." Oh, okay. And then it's like, and so so she read the number off. So, oh, you don't believe me? His number is. Four one seven da 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 da, wow. and then and the gay you know producer that <laughs> that's uh, does the moderator you know he just let it go. He said yeah, Giselle he said so is that the number? And she said yeah, that's his number. <laughs> how how did Monique get that information? Her friend sent it to her. Like she had her I don't know if she knows the lady or it's through but but that lady 
uh, supposedly um, somehow she got it from a friend. Like they, they, you know, you're only six degrees of separation. You know, know somebody that know somebody that know somebody. Sure. And so sure. somehow she got that information of all the screenshots of the text exchanges between her, this lady that he's, you know, uh, having a relationship with. It may be one of many, but it's a one of the ladies he's having a relationship with, and him just really downplaying him and Giselle's relationship as if it's only for ratings, you know. So. Mm. Yeah. And then, of course, um, um, the preacher he responded, and of course he had his his notebook as well. But I I thought it was kind of interesting that he would actually respond to that in the first place. Oh, why haven't man. why haven't responded? Yeah. Why not do the Jay Z, um, Beyonce Carter? Media, media training type of thing. We just ignore yeah. it above, above it. But then that's why I'm thinking. I'm wondering. Well, maybe his response is all for the show. Uh, maybe so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he got caught up up in that. Uh, yeah, I mean, some people can't handle deflammatory remarks against them. You know, and then the fact that she said the congregation was covering it up to. The fact that hey, he has a baby by somebody in the county, they're covering it all up. So I think some people they just can't they can't rise above that and feel they have to uh, speak up. And then if he has dirt on her, which you said he has, which was you know his his, his her husband beats you or whatever, then it's like okay, well I'm going to expose you since you think you're you're doing something to uh, expose me, you know. So I don't know. It's it's sort of like him and the other pastor, Pastor Gray, the book of John Gray, John. Right, right. Him, and just all the, the tweet, the social media stuff. It's like, why even respond? Why even put it, why even put it out that you, you bought your wife a Lamborghini? And I'm sure your congregation probably only makes on average 25, 30. I mean, you know, it's like, why, why do it? But why even put stuff? But some people just, that social media, I don't know. They feel like have to respond and just post stuff, and it's just ridiculous. Mm, mm, mm. I see John Gretel because he's kind of a social media pastor, wouldn't you say? I mean, they, they're kind of making a transition or being more involved uh, on the internet. So, yeah. Do, do you think Do you think this whole thing is going to be on the show next next season, though? The way it plays out, I don't think that her. Um, hmm, I'll be surprised if she's still with him. Giselle. Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. unless, 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 if she is, and I think it's really, truly for the ratings, um, I don't think, it's weird, it's, and it's crazy how you allow your camera to follow so much, because the girls, it's, it's funny when your girls, your kids are like, oh, mom, what are you doing? You know, like, you know, you would say, oh, mom and dad, they're going to get together. They're like, what are you with this dude? Like, what, what, what's going on? But, you know, they were divorced when they were, you know, practically babies, so they don't really know them as a couple. So it's just like this man, you say this man hurt you, and you put it out there, yeah, he's a cheater. And it's like, why are you getting back with him, you know? So the um, daughter's um, unless, it's, unless it's for a paycheck. It's for a paycheck. Unless it's for a paycheck, exactly, exactly. So, um, and that's what Monique was saying, hey, you bring a man, you bring a different man on here every season, and the man you're with, where is he? Is he going to be here? Is he going to be here with the rest of the husbands? And then Andy, the gay, the, the producer guy, he's like, so is he coming? And she's like, no, he's not coming. <laughs> no, he's not coming. How many, so, how many seasons has been on? Potomac has been on for a while now. I would say maybe about six seasons now. Okay. So they've had some rotation of, of people on and off. So once it, it's probably been about six seasons. So, Yeah. So, are, you done, uh, are you done with it? What do you, you know, I, I I am going to, but it's all reality, uh, Real Housewives TV. I'm, I'm hooked on that franchise. It's the, I don't do the New Jersey. It's really just OC because they were the original ones. And then Atlanta because that was a black aspect. And then Potomac now is another black aspect. But I'm purely trying to get off all of the um, housewives because there's nothing – you know, it's, it's really nothing positive about it. It's just kind of all trash, you know, TV. And those who are smart use the platform to elevate their business, whatever business endeavors, get into something, um, so that once this gig is up, you know, you have more sustainable income um, that you didn't have before. So, right, right. Um, 
so yeah, so so I, yeah, yeah. I think you know I have that automatic DVR thing going on. I have to delete it. So sometimes it'll pop up like, and I'm like, oh, that's back on, you know. And then because it's on, it's like, oh, well, let me watch it and everything. But yeah, I think I am about done with it. Um, mm-hmm. After this, I'm gonna watch these next two reunion episodes because it's a three part thing to kind of see how it ends. But after that, it's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. It's so I say, you know. I hope I have to. <laughs> I hope I have the discipline. <laughs> but then sometimes, you know, in the back of my mind, it's like, you know, I work hard. You know, I put a lot. I should be able to watch the mindless, senseless TV just because I, cause I can, you know. So it's not oh, like nice. I do this all day, you know. So I, 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 vac- I vacillate back and forth with that whole thing, you know. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think it's going to have an impact on Bryant and the church. I think the church, they already knew. Or they know what they have when when he signed yeah. on, you know. Yeah. And as long as he can put yeah. people in the pews and get right. the income, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And and I think I think they separate the two. They look at the message, listen mm-hmm. to the message, and yeah. they separate the um, actual actors or the person, you know, away from the. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, they just know that's that's what he does. And <laughs> it's so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and that was his, that's not his first time on reality TV. He was on I don't know if you remember Amarosa when she had that dating show with Trump. You know, Amarosa got her start from Trump, being an apprentice. Apprentice, right? Mhm. And so, um, he was being and dated, he, he was, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Not let me cut you off. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you said he, she was dating. When she was dating Michael Clark Duncan, I'm just saying. No, was he dating? Was was Bryant dating Amarosa? I'm no, no, no. So, so he came on at the end to help her make a decision on who she should pick. So he was at the table. Yeah, right. That's what I Why? said. <laughs> Why? What's the connection? Because I need to consult my trusted advisor, my pastor, oh, before okay. I can select yeah, yeah, a man yeah. that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, you know. Wow. So nice. he's going to be there so I can see how they answer the questions. He can be there in person and help guide me through this process, <laughs> you know. That sort of BS, you know. So when I saw him on the show, I think that was the first time I saw him on reality. And it's probably 10 years ago. It's been a minute. I think the first time I saw him on a reality show, I was like, why did you do that, dude? I mean, it just kind of mm-hmm. diminishes your um, credibility when you come on that type of a show. So when you, I say all that to say when you say, well, they know what they got when they find him. Yeah, they know what they got when they, um, the committee um, decided to give him the job, that that comes with the territory, that it's going to be some, you know, trashy TV episodes that he's in the limelight about. He's not a, he's not a behind-the-scenes sort of actor. But I think his political activism and his um, his his uh, inherent natural ability combined with, you know, some refinement to be able to preach the gospel and, like you said, get people to view outweighs all that other stuff. Even the, right. uh, you know, even the, you know, multiple, you know, how does fornication come into play when you're the pastor and you're not married? You know what I mean? So that's why. Like, yeah. <laughs> what hey. what part of that do you just say? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, he probably doesn't preach on that part, right? So hey. Right, 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 right. Or do you, or, or do you want to be like allegedly the, the, the Catholic priest allegedly don't engage with you know a lot of them? We exactly. Them, you know, so. Right. Or Eddie Long, yeah. you know. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, Right. Yeah. So Who's married? Who was married, by the way? But anyway. Who was married, by the way? You know, and sleeping with boys. So it's just sort of like, you know, I think that church been doing enough. They just like, hey, this guy is dynamic as he is. Yeah, they just, hey, the, the benefit outweighs the cost, and uh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what it was all. It's a lot, a lot of drama. Wanted to thank Tabitha for coming on the show. And uh, that was her perspective. And uh, she's going to tell us her perspective on it. So hope you're enjoying this. Love to hear what you think. Put your comments in the comment section. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Yeah, with this whole Giselle and um, well, oh, the Kobe, pastor. the pastor, and Monique. And just to get your perspective on it. So, because I don't watch the show. So I just wanted the ladies' perspective to actually watch the show. So you saw the reunion when Monique cussed out Giselle and uh, accused what's we call the cheating, right? Yes, 
I don't know. It was very interesting because apparently there have been, like, rumors for years that, you know, mm-hmm. he's like that. Because earlier in the season, her Giselle's dad was on the show, and then, like, he was upset that they were getting brought together because he's like, you know, this guy has had all these kids. He has, like, six or seven baby mamas, and it's like, obviously, nobody wants their daughter with a guy like that. So I, I think it's very interesting that, you know, she's going back to him, and then here comes another person, and it's like, yeah, is this, like, your boyfriend or whatever like is this his phone number and this other woman's phone and with all these suspicious text messages and stuff like that it's very i don't know i don't see so, why she would go back but that's just me <laughs> so so what why, why do you think um i mean how did this monique lady get all that information though and is it obviously it's true or, or, or is it true or not you know what i mean i mean I have no idea. They always say that, like, people are bringing them stuff. What that means okay. exactly, I don't know. If, as far as, like, if people are just randomly emailing them or, like, DMing them on Instagram. But she had, like, printouts of these alleged text messages. And then so she read off his phone number. And then so that's why everyone's like, oh, like, this must be real. Like, his phone number is on these messages. So do you think Monique went too far? Um, uh, <laughs> I have no idea because they've been going at each other like since they met each other. Honestly, it's never been good blood between them. So I, and, and, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and, and Giselle and uh, Bryant, Jamal, they're not married, but uh, there's they're supposed to be a couple, right? Yeah, they're like rekindling things. They're boyfriend and girlfriend again. And they they live in the same. They both all live in Atlanta. No, she's still apparently in Potomac, and then he's in Atlanta, and then I guess they just go back and forth. Right. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, did you hear or see Brian's response? No, I didn't. I haven't seen that okay. yet. Because I, okay, I saw good. that, like, he had, like, a binder himself, apparently. I think it's, <laughs> <Yeah>. like... <laughs> right, 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 right. I know right, the video right. is out there, but I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> So I, I thought I, I thought he has a binder and he's reading off like the sins of Monique, you know, and her husband. And then uh, now, now, not once did he desi- did he deny the uh, messing around, but then again, he did say that he can't have a mistress because Brian he's not married to Giselle, you know. Uh, yeah. But and, and that's his word. But they coming off as being in a relationship, then you know. It seemed like that would be a problem. But his, but as I saw him do his kind, it was really staged and dramatic how he did his thing. So I'm wondering, is all that part of the show? Is that going to be on the show next season? Yeah, and that's always the bigger question. Like, is everyone in cahoots with each other? And this right. is all thing right. anyway, <laughs> just to keep us entertained. Right. <laughs> right. Reality TV is not real, right? Right, it's not yeah. reality. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's. Because I was like, why would somebody as big as he even um, lower himself, so to speak, to even address something like that? Because the members of the church, they know how he is, you know, so uh, keep keep it rolling, you know. But then to come out with the theatrics, with the binder, Monique had a binder, he has a binder, you know, and talking about his husband. So, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Just wanted to hear your perspective, someone who actually watches the show, <laughs> what to think, so. So very good, very good. Above all, it all right. is entertaining, so they accomplished that. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's entertaining, and, and look, it's, it's, they did a great job because they even got me talking about the dog on Real Housewives, and I don't even watch the show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch the first season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta when it was new, and then by the second season, I was like, hey, they, they're doing the same thing. Uh, they're fighting over kind of rich people problems, you know, and, I, yeah. and, I, and that was pretty much the end of it. So, uh, but yeah, well, all right, all right. Anything else you'd like to share regarding your um, Real Housewives of Potomac? <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> so what do you think? It sounds pretty crazy, isn't it? I do watch Jamal Bryant. I follow him uh, when he was in Baltimore. Now he's in Atlanta. And let me just say, whatever he does, whatever comes out, I don't think it's going to have any impact on the church because the church knew the church knows who he is and what he is. Uh, and their only concern, I think, is uh, putting people in those pews. 
And I do believe the church is able to separate the minister, the pastor, out from the man. And that's up for debate as far as if that's good or bad or whatever it is. But it works for them. One, one thing for certain, two things for sure. They sparked up um, views or enthusiasm. I mean, interest in the show. That's what I'm trying to say. The fact that I'm talking about the Real Housewives, Housewives of Potomac, me, I mean, I like my Westerns and my uh, Game of Thrones and I like those type of shows, but I'm actually talking about and watching them that, hey, they must be doing something right. Andy and his Bravo machine, Bravo. I think I did another video of Jamal Bryant. I think he was in a similar situation not too long ago, actually. And I think I'll try to put a link right there somewhere in the channel. So executive summary, end of the day, reality TV is not real. It's all a show, including Brian's response, in my opinion. Love to hear what you all think. Thanks for watching, checking in. Appreciate you. Yeah, live, love, laugh, love yourself. Be nice to others. Have a nice day. Maybe I might see you around the way. Take care now. Bye-bye.